G'day, I'm Darren Davis, and you can catch me at the Aveo Food Wine Festival in October. Today, we're here to talk about uh, varietal and regional marriages. What does that mean? It really is a bit of a guide to helping you decide on what wine is appropriate uh, from the growing regions of Australia. And we have many, many growing regions from the Queensland Granite Belt, who are producing amazing Mediterranean styles in their high altitude uh, areas. Some of their vineyards are well above 800 metres above sea level. So really cool climate, elegant wines are coming from the Granite Belt in Queensland. Bedello is probably their big hero. As we move down into New South Wales, there are regions like Hilltops and Orange, which again have high altitude, producing very elegant Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs. The Hunter, of course, is known for its Semillon and very long-lived Semillon uh, that never sees any barrel. Um, and then we've got a, the Hunter Shiraz, the, the sweaty saddle, uh, leathery Shirazes from the Hunter. Moving into Victoria, the Rutherglen is obviously very well known for their fortified wines and has an amazing history stretching back 150 years or so. Um, you're moving into central Victoria, um, Heathcote area has some lovely spicy Shiraz. The cooler climates of Victoria produce more of a, a white pepper, elegant Shiraz, so not the big blockbusters you may see from the warmer areas. Pinot Noir and Chardonnay also grow very well in the Mornington and Yarra Valley, uh, along with Tasmania, obviously, in their lovely cool climates. Not forgetting around the Macedon region, central Victoria has much the same climate as Champagne, so not surprisingly, produces amazing sparkling wines. Moving into South Australia, uh, Coonawarra, well known for its uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, the Barossa and McLaren Vale, both for their Shiraz, McLaren Vale being more chocolatey and the Barossa being black pepper and rich. Uh, Langhorn Creek is producing some amazing minty reds also. The Clare Valley and Eden Valley, perfect for their Rieslings. Uh, and then moving into WA, we have the classic styles from Margaret River of Cabernet Sauvignon and Chardonnay. So if you remember that cool climate produces elegant wines and warmer climate, more robust wines, you'll never go wrong if you remember those tips. Enjoy. <laughs>